So we are here at our cousin's house. Not exactly cousins, but close enough. <laughs> um, David and Mark, and they live in Wivliscombe, Somerset. Mark has kindly agreed to talk to us about the differences between hamlets, villages, towns, and cities. Because this is a hot topic that has come up a couple times in the comments when non-British people have made a comment about the word town and certain British people have gotten, let's just say their knickers in a knot about the definition of what is a town versus a city, etc. So here to talk about this is a genuine <laughs> English person <laughs> who, talk, who was kind enough to chat about this very subject. Okay, so correction, correction, he's not fully English. He's English and Scottish, but let's just say you're British. Yes. You're pretty dang British. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's talk, about, let's start with the littlest group of homes, a hamlet. What's a hamlet? A hamlet is usually a cluster of very few domestic dwellings. Mm -hmm. They could be cottages, um, you know, they might have little few outbuildings or whatever. There may or may not be a church. Mm. And if there is a church, it might be um, a non-conformist one, like a tin tabernacle mm. or something like that. I've never heard of a tin tabernacle. Right, well, they're, they're sort of primitive Methodist churches or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's unlikely to have a substantial church building. Mm. Then you move on to the village, and the village must possess a Church of England parish church. Mm -hmm. That's one of the qualifications. The other one is that when you finish with church services, you need a pub. So you go to the pub. <laughs> So a village needs to have a pub mm -hmm. and then it's a movable feast. It depends where the village is in England because in, in the north of England, some villages have very large village greens. Mm -hmm. Likewise, in the south of England, some of them have cricket pitches or duck ponds in mm -hmm. the middle of the village. Mm -hmm. um, but there will be a cluster of houses. There might be a post office and a general goods store of some kind, a mm -hmm. grocer's. Then we move on to the town. And the feature of the town was a greater collection of shops, mm -hmm. several churches of different denominations. Mm -hmm. There used to be a qualification that it would have a Woolworths or a Marks and Spencer. Yes. And it's nothing really to do with population but they should also have banks mm. to provide financial services. Now, there's a problem here because Wivelscombe, where we live, was once the smallest town in Somerset. Ah. And we had banks. In uh -huh. fact, I think we had three banks here. Uh -huh. They've now all gone. Oh. So is Wivelscombe a village or a town? It has two breweries. Mm -hmm. Um, it's got a pub, it's got a, a, a Roman Catholic church and an Anglican parish church. So It's got it's at got, least one supermarket. Yes, it's got um, one supermarket, it's got a, several other shops, it's got mm -hmm. a butcher's, mm -hmm. it's got a, a post office. So I think it counts as a very small town still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We then come on to the question of cities in England. And those can be of two types. There are the oldest, which are the cathedral cities. Mm -hmm. If a place has the seat of a bishop, a cathedral in it, and it's a Church of England cathedral, then that place is a city, regardless of the size of the population or the facilities it offers. So that's very confusing to Americans because we tend to think of things by population. No, if something has 2,000 with... people, it's yeah. a village. And if it has no. 200,000 people, it's a town. Yeah. And 2 million people, it's a city. <laughs> well, yesterday we were in Wells mm -hmm. in Somerset, which is England's smallest cathedral city. Mm -hmm. But it is the city of Wells, not the town of Wells. Right. Because it has a cathedral, an Anglican cathedral. 
And it's not that big it, of a place. It's not very big. Well, you saw how big yeah. the marketplace was and right. the, the historic center yesterday. It's not right. very big. Right. Then you come to very large towns like Brighton in Sussex, mm -hmm. which was raised to city status by the present queen. Ah. And that is the second type of city where um, a very large town can petition the sovereign to be made into a city. And so Brighton is now the city of Brighton. But it doesn't have a cathedral. It has no cathedral. Whoa. No, at all. But it's got a much bigger population than Little Wells. Wow. That's super confusing. Probably 10 times the population of Wells. <laughs> yeah, that's super confusing. Yeah. To, going back to the example of Wilbuscombe, mm. which is a town. Yes. If someone comes to visit yes. who's not familiar and says, this is a lovely village you've got here, the long-time residents of Wibby would be probably a bit offended, right? Even newly arrived residents <laughs> like me, we wouldn't be offended. Uh -huh. We would simply point out that it is Somerset's smallest town. Mm. And that is its reputation. Right. Yeah. So we, we went to the Cradley village fate yes. um, because Ian has his ancestral roots there going back to the 1600s. And... Uh, I did a live stream from the fate. It was a Jubilee weekend. Yeah. And, um, and so I was there speaking to the women at the Women's Institute stall. And they said, Cradley is England's largest village. Could and, well be. And, and later we thought, really? Because I've always been talking about how it was a small place. But I think it was geographically, right? So things can be large in terms of it has the large population. It also can be in terms of... Geography. Indeed, indeed. This is why that they're very movable feasts. Mm -hmm. I imagine that they've got quite a big population there. Right. For the size of the village. Yeah, I don't know. And it may be that the village parish boundaries mm -hmm. are quite large. Yes. And they may, may mean that. Right. Well, that's another thing that's so different here yeah. is that you talk about parishes, yes. which... Apart from Louisiana, do we even talk about parishes, Ian? I think that's a Louisiana term, right? If you're American, comment. <laughs> Let me know. Um, but yeah, parishes are a big part of the definition of villages and towns yes. here, right? Yeah. Re same thing with cathedrals. Yeah, that's very that's very <clears throat> different. Kind of those uh, religious roots to these definitions yes. of towns and cities is very different than, than the U.S. That's why they are as they are, because they've developed historically... Mm -hmm. and they haven't been imposed bureaucratically. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, what makes the difference. Thank you so much for explaining this to this American and a few other Americans who are going to hopefully be educated after watching this video. Thank you so much, Mark. I hope you enjoyed our little discussion of hamlets, villages, towns, and cities. Why don't you next watch one of these videos about one of my favorite villages and one of my favorite towns or cities? Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.